I actually started my career in education and legal marketing. Those job structures didn't really allow a lot of creative freedom. What led me to do freelancing was just being indecisive and needing uh, different opportunities. I expected this recession to be like the end of the world. The uncertainty of freelance. There's actually more freelance work than ever. Companies that really didn't prioritize their digital presence, they're mm -hmm. thinking more strategically about it and really wanting to ramp it up. It's just made it kind of like a feast in terms of the amount of opportunities. Every day it's something new. People can hire freelancers for six months. Finding an open staff position is way harder. If you're able to find enough work to fill your time, you can actually make substantially more than uh, the level that you would be at in a full-time position. What I think is so essential about this moment right now is that everyone from in, in, in every level of business, from influencers to huge corporations, they are returning to the service. So what how is what we produce in service of others. I'm hopeful that this will be a turning point where there's more centering of um, marginalized voices in the actual like production of materials. That has been an inspiring shift. Freelancing made it so that basically on the back end I can charge a foundation enough money to subsidize my work for, for black farmers. Don't underestimate what you're worth. Setting boundaries and expectations in the very beginning. It's certainly harder, I think, to stay on track and like time-wise. I'm all about deadlines. Freelancing is your opportunity to do what you want, do what you care about, do what you're passionate about, do what you otherwise couldn't do in a full-time job. If the work wasn't valuable to them, you wouldn't be there in the first place.